Hi guys, happy Monday. Although it's pretty cold and blustery and wintry out there, I have to say, for May, but there we go. Um, I'm super happy today to be back onto a 12 week prep for my next show. So that's, um, that's cool. I really like the 12 week thing. It's like my own 12 week challenge, you know, so um, knowing that the show's 12 weeks away, um, I've sorted all of my workouts and I've sorted my food, although that might change as we go along. And my goal is to come in way leaner and way harder than my last show. And um, I like the 12 week thing because I, I, it makes me do other other goals as well. So I've put some other goals in there as well for the 12 weeks. And at the end of the 12 weeks, I get a little treat of a few days in the Whit Sundays, um, courtesy of my friend Marie, which will just be so good. So um, back to it today, I started off by training legs, um, trying to do my weaker body parts at the beginning of the week, which for me are legs and shoulders. So I'll do, I'll hit shoulders tomorrow. I'm um, back down on my cardio. So cardio now will just be walking the dogs probably for the next couple of weeks. And then I'll drop um, some fasted cardio in and start to do cardio twice a day. Um, just feels really good to be back onto a regular eating plan. I've, I've been pretty good, but I have been letting the odd little things sneak in and the old glass of wine with Kenny and Mother's Day and all of that. So it's really cool to be out the other side of that and um, back into clean eating and and working out again. Um, so other goals are around the house because um, we're looking at putting the house on the market. So I want to kind of systematically over the next 12 weeks, funnily enough, there's about 12 rooms, get through all of those, decluttered and ready to go. I also... Um, I'm, I'm doing an online course at the moment and I want, and I, you can, it's one of those things you can do at your own pace. So if you let yourself, it takes forever. So I'm wanting to get that done in the next 12 weeks too. Uh, so that's all really excited, really exciting. Um, and ready to go. So my food plan, which I showed you last week was my off season plan. So now it's on to my on season plan. So, uh, maybe in the next week or so I'll fire that one through to you too. Uh, as promised, my new eyebrows, I'm really happy with them. Like there was big holes in them before and they were pretty blonde and grey and I don't, oh, yeah I'm happy they don't look too over the top, they're good, yeah. So I go back in about another four or five weeks for a little bit of a touch up. And um, maybe I'll get eyeliner done at the same time because I'm so bad, as you can see, at doing it myself. So maybe if I had it done permanently, it would save me some angst and smudges. I don't know. I don't know. Have a look. See. Um, so today I said I'd just talk to you a little bit about water. Hydration is so, so important. And as I shared with you last week, the timing of my hydration has to be impeccable due to me having a bladder like a sieve and I know a lot of you have actually come forward and confided in me since I confided in you saying that you suffer the same and it's not a lot of fun but water is so important um, obviously we all know it's good for our hair and our skin um, it helps to stop you getting kidney stones it actually helps you create more synovial fluids so that your joints slide and move better so if you're getting a little bit arthritic um, it's a really good thing every process from your saliva uh, right the way through your cardio your um, gastrointestinal tract gastrointestinal tract every process that turns your food into energy requires water so if you're a little bit dehydrated it slows all of those processes down and it's quite possibly for the average person worth about 100 calories a day. So that's half a kilo of fat you could lose in a month just by drinking enough water as opposed to being slightly dehydrated. Also, if you're dehydrated, you're going to get fatigued. So that afternoon fatigue when you reach for something sweet, very, very often it's an early sign of dehydration. Uh, you're, of, you get a little bit of brain fog, early sign of dehydration. Uh, so apart from the fact that you're going to burn more fat, so again, every process that takes fat from a fat cell and transports it to be burned from energy, for energy, requires water. Your muscle is 70% water. 
you know, we are between 60 and 70% water. Uh, so for me, trying to grow muscle, which does not happen very easily, I need lots of water in there because I need um, carbohydrate and proteins to get easily pulled into the muscle cells. So terribly, terribly important. We're one of the few mammals that sweat. So having enough water in our system is, is our cooling system that stops our core from overheating in the summer or when we're training. And um, so ironically, if you're not drinking enough water, your body will hold on to water. So that's the water that you might be getting from fruits or veggies or anything that you eat that contains water. Your body will hang on to that water and you'll feel bloated. You know, it'll hold on to water between your fat cells when you're not actually drinking enough. When you start to drink enough, you'll release that water that you've been holding on to. So you'll feel like you're peeing every two seconds till your bladder gets used to it and you get rid of that water that you've been holding on to. Also, if you're getting a little bit hormonal, remember that your hormones are carried in water. So if you're not drinking enough, then those hormones are not going to be readily moving around your body like they should be. And also some of them that you don't want to be a bit concentrated might be getting a little bit concentrated. So drinking enough water, think of it as like diluting your hormones a little bit too. So really, really important. How much is enough? Um, when I consult, I, my starting point for everybody is 30 mils of water per kilo of body weight. So if you weigh 60 kilos, that's three times six is 1.8, just under two liters. Um, I drink somewhere between three and four liters a day. But I train really hard and um, often I'm, I'm doing cardio as well and I'm in and out of the gym. Um, and I know when I'm thirsty, I don't feel good. You know, I, I need to, I need to drink lots of water and I feel good when I'm drinking lots of water. I can't keep cool like these guys by <laughs> panting, you know? So, um, yeah, so that, that's really all I wanted to say to you about water. Quality of water is probably important too. I wouldn't drink out of plastic, like I wouldn't drink out of, um, BPA plastic like one-time use plastic bottles that are going to leach into your water certainly don't use a one-time bottle more than one time never leave it in your car so that it heats up and the bpas leach into your water because that's seriously not good for you um where we live our water um has a reasonable amount of chlorine in it which you can smell when it um when you run the shower and I can taste in a cup of tea. So um, I choose to drink filtered water. So I have a water filter at home that I like to use. And these guys like filtered water too, don't you? Yes, you do, you do. Um, so yeah, drink, drink good quality water. Um, I prefer to have my water in either a BPA. Um, Tupperware do some really good litre bottles which are BPA free and they are, um, the, the colour is vegetable dye. So I like those. And I also like um, metal water. Uh, I had a couple of really nice metal water bottles that I bought home with me from Australia. But I put them both in the freezer and they don't like being in the freezer because they the seams explode. Or even if there's not a seam, they explode. And the bottoms go all bulgy and it doesn't work very well. Um, in the summer... If you live somewhere humid like we do, and if you're exercising a lot, then you really should have electrolytes in your water because you are sweating, or even, even if you're running or you're sweating heavily in your gym workouts, please put electrolytes in at least one bottle of water a day. Because when you're sweating, you're, you're losing sodium and potassium and magnesium, and when you're drinking, you're just drinking water, so you're further diluting your salts. And that can lead to cramping and other problems you can actually drink too much water and when you drink too much water your brain swells and you get water between your brain cells and pushes out into the skull and it's called hypernutremia and then you fall over uh, so the the symptoms are quite similar in some ways to um to being dehydrated so it can be really dangerous because it can be treated in the wrong way and then you can be worse off so, um, yeah, so for most of us, it's somewhere around three to four litres. 
certainly two to four litres, somewhere in there. Uh, try and drink good quality water. If you don't like it in the winter, you can drink it hot, you can put lemon in it, you can put lime in it, you can have it in the fridge with lemon, lime and ginger, whatever. Um, hot water does count. Tea doesn't count, it's got caffeine in it. Green tea doesn't count, it's got caffeine in it. Coffee doesn't count, it's got caffeine in it. Coke doesn't count, it's got caffeine in it. In fact, every cup or glass of caffeinated drink you have should really be having the same again of water before you have another one. So if I have a coffee in the morning, I drink the same amount of water before I have a second coffee. That's quite a good rule of thumb to go by. But your herb teas and your fruit teas, now they do count towards your water. So if you like chamomile or peppermint or this time of year I quite like um, lemon and ginger, that does count towards your water. So I guess that's good to know. If you have any other water-related questions that you think I might be able to help you with, um, please give me an email or a yell. If there's anything else you'd like me to cover in these little vlogs, send me an email. Um, this week for cooking we're doing sweet treats so as as we speak I'm getting together a whole lot of recipes and uh, going to do some trials. That is hard when I'm prepping because I like sweet stuff, even healthy sweet stuff and I want to eat it and um, so I'm going to have to be very careful about which recipes I do. I'm going to have to make sure I give away everything so there's none left that I can pick at and that I'm not tempted to taste it or try it when I'm cooking it because those are all danger things for me. Um, but it's pretty early on in my prep so you'd think in week one I'd be able to um, kind of be a big girl and avoid those things. I'll do my best. So um, have a good week. I don't think there's anything else that is exciting that I need to tell you about. It's been a busy week good week we hit the 800 kilometer mark on our oh, actually this will come up backwards for you but we walked yesterday we, we're walking along um hamilton and we went to this that's an arboretum and who knew it was even there um kind of between hamilton well on the dinsdale road out towards raglan hamilton just beautiful see I know you've got reflection, but it was really, really lovely. And the first part of it, it's again, see, that's the thing with doing this walk. We just find places that you just, you just wouldn't read about. Anyway, on one of the posts was this. It's upside down, back to front. Bluff, this way, only 2,200 kilometres to go. Cape Rianga, 800 kilometres behind you. Well done. So we've done 800 kilometres of our 3,000. I actually think it's 3,300 I read somewhere. But that feels pretty good. So, um, and if you, you know, if you fancy getting out, you know, that was along the cycleway, along the Waikato. It's just absolutely stunning. We had one little wet shower and a little bit of wind. But it was it was really lovely. And as with last time we did it, it was so nice to see so many families out on bikes and other people doing it. Really lovely with the autumn leaves and everything else. So, yeah, that was a, a stunning, stunning day. So have a fantastic week. Set your goals for the next 12 weeks and let me know what they are. And um, eat well, train hard, sleep lots. Have a fabulous time. See you next week. Okay, bye.